Shifting our focus to the other big story of the day, two people lost their lives. The family was completely destroyed, but the accused have been granted bail in no time. In the Bengaluru Transformer Blast case, where a father-daughter duo lost their lives, two accused officials of the Bengaluru Electricity Supply Company, who were arrested on Monday, have been granted bail within hours at the police station. Remember, around five days back, 55-year-old Shivraj and 19-year-old Chaitanya were killed in the explosion when their scooter was passing by the transformer. Now, Chaitanya was also slated to get married in a few days. And more shocking details are also emerging uh, from a report. It's an interim report filed by BESCOM in this entire matter. And the report reveals that there was a lack of regular maintenance of the transformer, which led to this explosion, killing Shivraj and Chaitanya. Now, there were problems with the breather unit of the transformer. And not just this, BESCOM is also of the opinion that the accident was avoidable, but it is too late for this realization. Well, this in transformer that exploded, this was replaced there in 2018 June, following which uh, there had to be regular maintenance that had to be done. Now, the BESCOM's interim report uh, says that the department is of the opinion that this particular incident could have been avoided if there were three things that were done. One, the regular periodic maintenance of the transformer. Two, um, uh, an explosive vent uh, as well as the breather pipe. These two act as a cushion or a safety wall sort of uh, uh, measure that would, uh, that if it was maintained, well, then this incident could have been avoided when the explosion took place and there was an oil leak that was spilt over to the victim. The uh, cause of death was that the oil spilt on uh, these two victims. They suffered burn injuries and uh, succumbed to those injuries. So if the transformer, explosive vent and uh, the breather pipe were maintained regularly and in good condition, then this incident could have been avoided is uh, the BISCOM, the department's own opinion. Now, let's remember that this is an interim report. Interestingly, this report does not mention about the call log that went in that day. According the, the eyewitness statement and what the police are saying as well. Uh, who, who made that call, who took that uh, call and uh, whether the officials were informed, whether the supervisor made sure that the complaint was followed up. This is not mentioned in the interim report. The expectation is that there will be another detailed report report from BESCOM that will talk about this. But so far, it talks about the condition of the transformer and other parts that were not maintained regularly, which uh, led to the accident.